Suicide Squad, Joanna here, the Soap Gal. Some of you have been asking us some questions and I thought I have to show you what happens in order for me to be able to explain this question. So one of the questions that we keep getting asked is what is seizing soap? So I'm gonna do a demonstration and show you what happens when you seize a bar of soap. I'm going to show you what it means when a soap seizes, but you don't always know that your bar of soap is going to seize. What does seizing mean? Typically, it is a fast reaction to a fragrance oil that you're using or an additive, and because of that, all of a sudden it just, boom, you have soap on a stick, and I'm gonna show you what that is. But that is why it is so important for you to do R&D batches. So that's what I'm gonna be basically doing here. And I'm using, the Trinity Blend Oil and the 5050 Lye Solution, which you can purchase at Hobby Lobby. Um, so in here, I have the 32 ounces of the Trinity Blend Oil, which is pure olive oil, coconut, and responsibly sourced palm oil. In here, I have four and a half ounces of water. So we're gonna add that. Okay, and then so you can see what's gonna happen with the seasoning, we're gonna be adding in our 0.3 ounces of our blue slushy um, mica. And then we're going to, I'm just gonna pour the fragrance right in. So this is um, clean cotton um, and this fragrance, it does seize. So we're going to put that in and we're gonna mix that up. So we're gonna use our emotion blender and we're gonna blend that all up. So a nice bright blue color, okay? So all of our oil and everything is incorporated. I'm gonna put on my safety glasses. And right here is the 50-50 lye solution. So that means that it's going to be four and a half ounces of water and four and a half ounces of sodium hydroxide. So that's what this is. We're gonna pour that into the mix, set it to the side, and now we're gonna stir. Okay. And then all of a sudden you see, and look, you got soap on a stick. Now that is what you would consider your soap seized and you're gonna have to like try to push this into your mold. Um, I'm not going to do that, scooping it into a mold. I'm just gonna show you now what you can do so that you know because you did your R&D that the soap is going to seize, it's going to get hard really, really fast. This is what you can do if you absolutely love this fragrance and you want to use it. Let me show you how you can still use that fragrance. So now we're gonna take our 32 ounces of a Trinity blend, our four and a half ounces of distilled water, our 0.3 ounces of blue slushy, and then here's our fragrance, here's our nine ounces of sodium hydroxide. We are gonna be mixing this all together. So we're gonna mix this until we have a nice trace. So it's unscented right now. We got ourselves a nice light trace. I um, lift up my stick blender and kind of go back and forth and see if it leaves divots and it is. So now that I have my light trays, I'm gonna put my mixer in my water and I'm going to take this in my whisk. So we do this a lot in uh, production. So we put the fragrance in and then now we're just gonna whisk it in nice and fast and see it's not seasoned on me. And I'm able to now take this and pour it into my mold. Voila, I was able to use a fragrance that normally seizes on me 
and I'm able to use it, but that's why R&D is so important. So when you get a fragrance that you absolutely love, just take the Trinity blend and some 50-50 and just do that really quick R&D experiment to make sure all your additives and everything works perfect. So when you go into production, you know what to expect. I hope this helped every one of you on how to do an R&D of your fragrances and what happens if you get one that seizes on you. And thank you so much. And remember, lather, rinse, profit, repeat. <laughs>